guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so super excited. Um, I have been absolutely blessed to be able to do this collaboration with Arteza. Um, I've seen Arteza products on lots of um, people's videos and things like that, and I've never used them myself before. So I'm really, really, really excited to be able to do this. And obviously it coincides with doing a lot more of my art journaling and, you know, mixed media work and things like that. So hopefully we're going to just have an awesome, awesome time. So I was so lucky they sent me, um, these were the, you know, the items that I kind of requested really. Um, so they have sent me the blendable um, water-based ink and they're called Real Brush Pens. And you get 96 of these pens. Now, I haven't unwrapped any of this stuff. It's all still, you know, sealed and in its cellophane. But I just couldn't wait to come along and have a play um, with you guys. So I'm just going to kind of show you one at a time the lovely items that I've been sent. So this is 96 of the Real Brush pens. Um, and they're water-based, you know, like watercolour pens, basically. And I'm going to tip them upside down to show you. Look at the beautiful colours. Oh, they're just scrumptious colours, aren't they? So I'm thinking we're going to have a ton of fun playing with these. Like I say, this is an unboxing, as it were. I haven't, you know, haven't undone them, unwrapped them or anything like that. But I was dying to come along and show them and share them with you guys. So that's the first product. And then the other one is this. And it's, I don't know whether you would say tempera, tem tempera tempera colours. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, I'm afraid, so I do really apologise. Now, these are listed as Arteza Kids, um, and there's 32 different colours in here, and they are paints. So, again, I haven't undone these, so let's, let's do the unboxing together. So, I'm just going to unwrap these. I'm super excited because I had looked at these on, um, you know, their website and things, and I'd looked at reviews and stuff of these. So, although they're called Kids Paints, Everyone in the reviews said, no way, you know, they're, they're not just kids paints, they're, you know, lovely, lovely, lovely colours and lovely paints for everybody. So let's have a look and see. Oh, I'm so excited. Honestly, I mean, the colours of these just looked awesome online. Look at that. I just, I could see kind of colours in here and was, was instantly drawn to this one. So a gorgeous metallic. So what you get in here, let's just quickly have a look and see. See what it says on here so oh it's not got it sort of broken down but you get a mixture anyway of um ah here we go I thought they must have a description so you get like eight bright eight vibrant colors seven metallic colors six neon colors five glitter colors four laser glitter colors and two glow in the dark colors so absolutely great selection of paints so let's just get them out and have a bit of a look and kind of see I mean aren't they just gorgeous colors <gasps> so I literally can't wait to have a play with these wow look at those colors so I'm thinking these are hmm. yeah so this is like the neon pink I thought perhaps that was neon yellow but it doesn't say it's neon yellow let's have a look oh my gosh look I love that color blue isn't that a pretty blue so we have got a ton of different colors look at these oh I can't wait I can't wait to do some stuff with those oh my goodness look at that orange that's so gorgeous isn't it wow we are going to have so much fun with these oh gorgeous 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 so right this is obviously a metallic gold and then we've got a gorgeous color brown so that's really nice and then oh look at that beautiful color that's called metallic sunset red it's kind of like a reddy bronzy color isn't that beautiful space black i don't know whether that's metallic it doesn't say it's metallic but anyway let me move the box onto my lap so that i can kind of get all the other colors out for you guys so ah oh, metallic dreamy blue look at that beautiful color silver Oh, look, glittery ones. Aren't they nice? Right, so this is playful hot pink. And this is playful sky blue. Yeah, and they're glittered, glittered paints, those. And then we've got 
Playful True Red. Oh, that looks like that's a glitter as well. And this one is Playful Frosty Rose. Oh, look at that one. That's kind of like a silver, but with all different colours of glitter in there. We're going to have so much fun. I can't wait. Right, so we've got a metallic lavender and a metallic mint green. That's the green that I pulled out at the beginning. Okay, what else have we got? We've got magic glitter glow. Mm, I don't know what you do with that. So very much going to be learning together here. Hot pink glitter. Oh, forest green glitter. Look at that. Oh, I love this. Isn't that beautiful? Metallic ballerina pink. That's so pretty. Okay, and then we're on the home front now. So this one is icy glow. And then we've got gold glitter. And then we've got sunburnt glow. And we have got electric glitter. So a whole ton of gorgeous 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 colors and things that you know we can have a play with now so let me get the box out the way off of my lap and let's just pick um you know some gorgeous colors that we want to kind of have a work you know have a work with and have a play with um oh what's calling me i don't know there's so many to choose from uh well i'm going to have to go for this because of course that's just oh, gorgeous gorgeous color isn't it so that's a metallic one, so let's pull that out. Um, this is also metallic, so perhaps I don't want metallic. Oh, what's this? This is the glitter. Let's have that. And should we have a brown? And maybe this blue. Yeah, what do we think? Let's have those. And actually, I'm thinking maybe, maybe the gold as well. I can't resist a bit of gold, to be honest. Or would we prefer like a yellow? Mm. Well, let's let's keep both of these. Okay, right. I'm just going to put the rest back into the box. Hold on. Right, I am back. And unfortunately, this is now the next day. Um, I just got kind of pulled away and yeah, didn't get a chance to kind of have a play. So all we'd done so far was picked out, um, you know, the paint colours that I was going to use. So part of the reason why I chose these, um, again, I still don't know how to pronounce it, um, temp tempera or they may be just called temper um paints is because um on kind of doing a bit of research they're much thinner and much more kind of water-based than your normal um acrylic paints i mean obviously the fact that they're kind of for kids and things like that they're you know um supposed supposedly washable i mean of course i'm not testing them for things like that so i wouldn't really like to kind of comment on that but um, one of the reasons that I thought they would be really um, awesome is I don't have a jelly plate and I've obviously seen lots of people playing with the jelly plates and things like that and I saw a couple of people um, using these to get similar-ish <laughs> effects um, because they're obviously kind of a looser texture of paint. I'm hoping that I would be able to just blend them here onto my craft mat and obviously the beauty of it is they should stay wetter for longer than you know your normal acrylic paints they should be much easier to clean off of my mat than you know regular acrylic paints um and hopefully I will get some nice backgrounds and things like that so we will see so let's just take some of my colors that I have selected here and I'm just going to you know smoosh some onto my mat here obviously this is the first time I have done this so you know who knows I don't know whether this is going to be successful or not um but we're just here having a play and oops I haven't taken the cap off that sorry I thought that I had taken the cap off some of these um since yesterday but no I haven't hold on okay oh my gosh look at that I mean if you can see that sort of sparkle in there so we'll just pop that down so you can probably see, I mean, they're coming out quite sort of runny and thin looking, which I guess is to be expected. Um, and I'm just hoping that, you know, that's going to, oh, another one I haven't taken the cap off, that that's going to be advantageous when doing this type of thing. So we'll see. Oops, get that cap off there. Oh, that might still have a film on there. Hold on. Oh, I can't now get the film off. 
Hold on. <laughs> okay, right. I've got all the um, lids off. I've double checked the rest. So um, let's have some of this darker blue. I mean, they're really pretty, aren't they? Really pretty colours. And then let's have... Shall we have some of the brown? I mean, you know, this might just be going to look absolutely hideous. I don't really know. But, you know, if you don't play around, you're never going to tell, are you? So let's just have a, have a look and see. Right. Now, I'm just going to put some of that gorgeous green in because, of course, that's the one that I really, really, really love. So we'll just put that there one or two places now I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to smoosh these around a little bit with um, a roller now I don't have a brayer um, which is obviously what people tend to use on their jelly plates so I've just got this roller which is probably going to be you know much messier than a brayer um, so I may come to regret this as well but again I'm just using what I've got access to in the house so just going to kind of smoosh my paints together Right, okay, my first first observation is, of course, the roller is picking up a lot of the paint onto it. So that's not really going to work. So first of all, I'm just going to make use of the paints I've put down with my sheet of paper. We'll just see how this is. Oh, well, it's still pretty cool, to be fair. I still quite like the effect. Yeah, I think that's still pretty. So I'm just going to put that to one side. And then what I might do is actually, let's go in again with another sheet of paper. Now I'm just using old scrapbook papers that I've just, you know, sorted out to get rid of. So it's quite a good, good use for those. And then, oh, that's pretty. So let's just wipe my mat down. Okay, so I mean that looks really pretty actually. Yeah, I really really like that. Now I don't know how these are going to react with water. So again, you know, this maybe will be hideous and a disaster, but let's just give it a try. Okay. I thought perhaps the water would kind of drag the paint, but it doesn't seem to be doing a lot so I might just squish that down again now it's wet and see if it does anything to the paint right I don't know if that really did a lot but it has possibly taken some of that sort of grainy effect out so you know all is not not completely lost so let me just clear my mat again and then I might as well make use of the obviously roller that I've now got plastered with the with the paint so let's just go kind of a couple of rolls down that way should we go this way as well right so I mean obviously yeah I obviously was not kind of grasping that the brayer kind of keeps the paint on the jelly plate you know and you know that's all all a learning process isn't it so but I might just again squirt this with water and then just press it down on the other side which might get rid of some of that sort of grainy effect there so again just kind of smooshing it down oops well wow, that's very very interesting texture that we've got there Okay, perhaps what I'll do is go in now with my dry wipe and just try and lift some of that off. So I don't know whether this is going to do a lot. Okay, well, I quite like that, actually. I mean, these, of course, <laughs> these are not methods that I have really seen anyone else doing. Um, you know, but I'm just using the things that I've got to hand. And to be honest, I watched a recent video with Tim Holtz and I felt so encouraged because, you know, he was literally just encouraging play and encouraging kind of just experimentation and kind of saying, you know, 
who cares if you don't have the right techniques? Just go for it. Just, you know, play around because, um, you know, you never know what you're going to come up with. And hey, if it works for you, then that's good enough. So, you know what? If Tim Holtz says it's okay, it's okay. I mean, he might not have been meaning quite this, but I mean, actually that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Really pretty. So, I mean, I, you know, like I say, I've not got the right equipment and I'm not kind of doing this quite right. I will try and invest in a brayer and um, come back to do some more of these kinds of things. But I think as a kind of first, first attempt, I think that's not too bad, to be honest. And actually, I, you know, I really like that effect that it's given me. So what I might do is, um, actually, I'm just going to mop up this one a little bit. And actually, I'm going to go in with my wet, wet wipe. Just see what that does. Okay, I wonder if I can kind of drag it or whether that's just going to make it really awful. Well, I don't mind it. So, I mean, you can probably see, but that, um, I don't want to keep on using that word because I suspect I'm not saying it right, but this tempera or temper, temper paint, um, I mean, it is very wet, which is giving me a lot more time to be able to play and, you know, do things with it than sort of a typical acrylic, which is quite nice, to be honest. I love this background it's really really pretty so I think what I might do is actually put in a couple more colors onto the mat roll my roller in so that I pick up some different colors on there and we'll do another couple of background pages okay, so, so I've pulled in a whole bunch of other colors because I just couldn't resist it really so um mm, what colors should we do shall we go for the greens and things first and then we'll start incorporating some other colors because it's probably better to use you know similar-ish tones and things first so let's put that green there let's use a bit of gold this time oh my gosh that's gorgeous isn't it and this one here this is icy glow so thinking this is a sparkly one. Oh, that's nice this might be one of those glow in the dark ones I mean of course I'm not really going to be taking my taking my work into the dark so I will probably never know but it could be that that's one of the glow in the darks so let's just go for another bit of blue I mean they're gorgeous colors aren't they okay right now let's give these a roll oh that blue's got lost in there completely so that's a shame like that Okay, I wonder if we could then, right, let's put in another piece of paper, or put on another piece of paper. Now I wonder how long it's going to be before we end up with just sludgy brown, because that's just always what seems to happen to me whenever I'm playing with paint, it's a mixing of the colours. Oh, that's so scrumptious, isn't it? Now I have to be honest, I mean there's not a great deal of other colour going on there, but... That's super gorgeous. So I'm just going to put that to one side and just, you know, rather than waste this, I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of this paint and then we'll do some other things with that because, you know, you could probably see, but there wasn't a great deal kind of being picked up on the paper because obviously most of it got soaked up on the roller. So there we go. But we can always go in again. So like that, oops. Okay, right, let's move that to one side. I'm just going to wipe the desk down. So, like that. Okie dokie. So, you know, whereas like acrylic paints would perhaps be much, much more difficult to get off of my desk, this is just wiping up really, really well. You know, really, really easily. So, let's go in with the roller. I mean, unfortunately, it's really saturated with green. I mean, I love green, don't get me wrong, but I was hoping to get a few more colours on there. So I think let's go in and put some other colours direct onto that paper. Uh, should we go for the brown? Uh, 
And what about a bit of blue? Okay, so then I'm just going to go over with my roller again. I love the way those splotches look on there. They look really pretty, don't they? Gorgeous colours. And I'm just going to kind of do this with the roller. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my wipe and then kind of hopefully smoosh it around a bit with the wipe. So this is my wet wipe rather than the dry one. But I just want to get rid of some of that sort of grainy effect from the roller. So just going round like that. And also hopefully making it a little bit more blended rather than the splotches or splotch, yeah, splotch, splotched effect that it did have. So like that. Okay, right. I've got some gold here. Let's try and put that on a bit. Oh, I don't know if that's really working. Right, so this one's pretty saturated in green. Um, oh, look, just wiping. <laughs> just thought I'd have a go at the wiping. And as you can see, it pretty much wipes it off completely. So that's quite handy to know. So let's just go in and now just try and get rid of those drag marks, but sort of blend it a bit more. Okay. And I mean, this is where I guess these paints are really great because I mean, acrylics would not really probably do this because they're a bit thick. You know, they wouldn't now be still wipeable. So this is where these paints, I guess, come in really well or come into their own because I'm really able to kind of blend them direct onto the paper. So this is not how I had hoped that this video was going to go. I thought I was going to have this brilliant technique, a bit like the jelly plate. But to be fair, I'm still loving the, you know, the effects that I'm getting, even though it wasn't at all, you know, how I was expecting it to go. So I've just got this little patch here of like the gold and not sure what to do with that because I quite like having that on there. Um, so I'm wondering whether I might be able to do something else with that. So let's put some gold direct onto the, onto my little palette there. And I wonder if we could just take in a brush or something and just like sort of stipple that on. So let me just see if I've got a sort of stiffish brush. Mm, probably not really stiff enough, but let's give it a try. Nope, now I'm getting brush marks, which not really what I was hoping for, but I'm just going to go in kind of like that. And then let's go down here and have a bit more there. Okay. Well, to be fair, I quite like that, to be honest now. I mean, it is very green and very saturated, but you know, that's okay, I don't mind. So let's just quickly again, wipe my table down. Okie dokie. And let's pull in this one, which was that one that we did with the second roller with the green, if you know what I mean. So again, before adding any other paint, I'm going to just go over this with a drag with the wet wipe because I'm hoping that this is going to then produce quite a nice background, you know, in a much paler green, obviously, than the first one. So just going over that like that. And to be honest, this had actually dried quite a bit, but the wet wipe is kind of almost reactivating the paint and um, it's, you know, it's just wetting beautifully and then just behaving you know, in a really awesome way to um, be able to, you know, smudge it around and blend it around. So, I mean, you know, really just must stress here, I am very new to these kinds of techniques. So this is all kind of surprising to me. It's all um, just experimenting and playing, um, you know. But yeah, I'm quite quite pleasantly surprised by how much this is able able to you know come back to life if you know what I mean it's coming back like a completely wet paint again even though it had pretty much dried onto that paper and you know 
you definitely couldn't do that with an acrylic paint. So, or as far as I'm aware, you definitely couldn't do that with an acrylic paint. So this is awesome. And you know, this is just on scrapbooking paper. So it's not like I'm using specialized papers or anything like that. So that looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, I really like that color. Now let's get in some more wipes and I'm thinking perhaps we'll dab it down even more and make it much more subtle. So again, just kind of wiping some of those layers off. I mean, how awesome is that? You know, gone from quite dry paint to being able to literally take it right back. That's really cool, really cool. Okay. So yeah, like I say, completely not what I was, um, you know, <laughs> thinking I was going to be doing, but very, very, very um, awesome that you can do this, to be honest. I'm really, yeah, really impressed. So let's go with some blue or something and see what we can do there. And maybe some, well, let's go for this, this yellow. Now this, I think, must be a glow in the dark as well. Um, so I don't really know kind of what this is going to be like on the page, but should we just, well, again, let's just kind of dab it around a bit and then I'm going to just kind of try and smoosh it around a bit with the wipe. I mean, this here that I said might be um, glow in the dark, I just, I'm not sure even whether it's going to show particularly when it's dry, you know, or whether it just gives it a film to make it glow in the dark, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of quite awesome, isn't it? Quite fun. And then let's have a bit more blue because, I, uh, blue, gold, because I just love the gold, so... Okay. A bit more around here. Right, okay, so just going to wipe my brush. Put my brush out of the way. So I think what I might do first is kind of dab it a bit with my dry wipe, just to take off the kind of excess there. And then let's go in with the wet one and see. Okay, so I think what I would, would have been better off doing is leaving that to dry um, a bit more because actually what's happened is it's kind of blended it so much that you can't really kind of see it too much back in there. So I think I'm going to actually leave it to dry and then come back to it. So yeah, let's move that one out of the way. So let's bring in the first one, or one of the first ones that we did. So this one's definitely kind of much more dry now. And let's now go back in with our wipe and see if we can kind of reactivate that paint to get a sort of blending going on there. Oh, I love how these blend. They are absolutely brilliant. And I mean, of course, obviously, you know, hopefully the more I play with these, the better, the better I would get at doing things like this. So, um, but I am so impressed by the way that they just kind of, you know, come to life again and you can just kind of manipulate them and move them around after they've kind of dried. That's just, you know, really unique quality, I think. So, um. Yeah, they're really, really, really fun. So that's a really nice subtle background, isn't it? And it has got some glitter in there, if you can see that. I don't know whether the camera's picking it up. So I'm just going to put that to one side. Right, let's do another one. Uh, so let's have a look. Now, obviously, my roller is, you know, pretty saturated in green, which is a bit of a shame. So let me just kind of wipe that off a couple of times on some book page. So... Like I say, I'm obviously working with the equipment I have. I realise it's not the right stuff. Um, but I'm just trying to get some fun, fun things going on. So, yeah. Let's just 
I'm just trying to get some of that green off. before I can use it again. Okie dokie. I mean, actually, how lovely does that look on the book page? I mean, I was kind of thinking I would be throwing that book page away, but now I'm thinking I might be able to do some other things with that. Yeah, okay, right, let's put that to one side now. Okay, right, let's bring in some other colours now. So I don't know whether I've really got rid of enough of the green off the roller. Let's just, sorry, one more time. Okay. Okay, okay, right, let's move that out of the way. Just give the desk a bit of a wipe. Okay, right, what should we go for now? Let's do something really completely different to the green. So... Let's have some red. Oh my gosh, look at that gorgeous colour. So this is fire truck red. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour, I must say. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's go in with some purple. <sighs> Shall we go in with some white? I'm not sure. Mm. Shall we go in with some blue? Or shall we go in with something like yellow or orange? Just having a quick look what's in the box again. So how about this banana yellow? Not sure how this is going to look and I haven't taken the cap off because I didn't think to use this until just now. But Oops. every now and then the um, lid kind of splits. So you have like the paper part and then this kind of plastic, which then, you know, doesn't always come off. So... Just a little bit of something to be aware of. Okay. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? I don't know how this is going to look together. Um, that might just look horrible, but let's have a look and smush them in. Again, you know, it's mainly ended up obviously on the roller. Okay my paper down. I'm much less scared now about putting my paper down because now knowing how much you can move the paint around it feels you know oh my goodness look at that gorgeous colour oh I love that colour so much that's awesome colour isn't it I again did not know that was going to turn out that sort of shade but my gosh that's gorgeous right let's put that to one side and I'm just going to wipe the desk down again and then bring in some more paper and we'll go over with the roller this time onto the paper. Okay. I'm not going to press too hard because I'm trying to not get that green coming through, which of course is still, still on the roller. So I'm just kind of, you know, trying to press quite lightly. Oh, I'm loving these colours. Yeah, when I put them down, funnily enough, I thought, oh gosh, what a mistake that is. Those colours look terrible together. The, um, <laughs> the yellow with that red and the purple, but oh my goodness, don't they look gorgeous now? Yeah, I love how they look. They're really, really pretty. Right, let's do one more. Like that. So, I mean, obviously these are kind of getting paler and paler, the more paint that's coming off of the roller, but okay. Oops, that one's got a touch of green as well. It's only a matter of time, isn't it, before I end up with the sludge, sludge brown colour. Oh, I love how they look. They are so, so pretty. Right, let's put those out of the way. Okay, let's see how we're doing. I might have to go and dry this off with my heat tool um, because I want to come back in and try and reactivate it with the wipe. I don't know whether it kind of is better to let it dry before doing that. Oh, well, let's let's just go for it anyway. But it might be that the paint is quite wet at the moment. Well, I mean, the paint is quite wet, but, you know, I maybe, maybe get better results when it's properly dry. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I love those colours. They're just scrumptious, aren't they? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I love this kind of pattern down here, so I might try and leave that actually. Um, let's just go in here and kind of try and smoosh these around. But yeah, try and perhaps leave that section there because that looks really pretty. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, loving how that looks. I don't know quite what to do here in this corner, so I might just go with the roller just to get a bit of colour on. And now just try and like, you know, blend that in a bit. Okay. Yeah, I love how that looks. That's so, so pretty, okay. Let's do this side again because it feels like it could be, you know, toned down a bit more. So, okay, love that. Absolutely love this section here. That's so so gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Just dab that there as well. Oh, I'm loving how these look. They are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, really, really pretty. Right, okay. Let's have a look and see how the others are doing. So then we've got this one. So I might just try and dab this rather than smoosh it too much. The dabbing so far doesn't really seem to be doing a great deal. So perhaps I need to, need to smoosh it a bit or perhaps I should wet it. Let's have a go. Okay. So yeah, don't forget that obviously there's um, then a 10% off uh, code, which is going to be at the top of my description in my video description. Um, if you wanted to, you know, go across to the Arteza website and check any of these out. And just to um, also let you know that for um, these products, you know, for this period I'm also on an affiliate link which means if you click on any of my links then I would earn a small um, percentage of you know the things that you buy so you know it doesn't cost you any more it's exactly the same for you guys but it just means that I would earn a little tiny amount um, you know from the things that you buy okay so that's the dabbed one I have to say loving that as well I really 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 love how these have all turned out, to be honest. Ah, oh, they're absolutely scrumptious. Right, I mean, I don't want to just literally bore you all to tears, but I'm feeling we could perhaps do with just doing a blue one, really, um, so that we've got kind of a whole rainbow of colours, because we've got kind of a pinky one, a greeny one, and then that sort of brownie type one. So let's do a blue. And then we'll probably kind of finish here. And then hopefully we can come back and we can have a play and do some other bits with the bits that we've made or with the papers that we've made. So I'm just going to take that lid off. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how they look, to be honest. Um, I did have my doubts at first when that roller just obviously sucked up all the paint and I thought, oh no, this is just... Not going to work at all, but actually, I think it's worked okay. And um, yeah, I think everything's looking really, really pretty. Right, so we've got that. And I'm just wondering whether we should have some white in this one. I haven't used any white so far. Oh, well, you know what I didn't do? I didn't, um, didn't clean the roller off. So now we've got, you know, saturated paint all over the roller. Let me just quickly clean that off a little bit so I'm just pressing it down as hard as I can really just to try and clean it a little bit okay oh I mean that's really pretty as well isn't it yeah you'd have thought that we could just have all of those colors going on and it would look so good I mean of course that is probably on the on the verge of going into a sludge color but 
so far it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? So let's just clean that off. Okay, right, get rid of that. Okay, right, let's have a look. Okay, let's go in and just colour those. I'm thinking I perhaps have got too much white and perhaps not enough blue. We'll see. Okay. Oh, that's yummy, isn't it? I love that. That's so pretty. And I've said that about all of them, but to be honest, they all are really, really pretty. I just love the, um, you know, use of colours. I'm really, I'm really enjoying doing some art journaling and things so that I can use colours because, you know, I know I've said before, I love our junk journals and things, but I mean, often they're a little bit muted and things. So the opportunity to actually use really quite bright colours is just awesome. Right, I'm going to clean the table. Again, just wipe that down. So, I mean, you see how easy that these just wipe off. So, I mean, obviously I haven't tried this with regular acrylic paints, but I mean, definitely they wouldn't be blending on the paper so well. So, um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Right, I'm not going to press too hard because of course I don't want all those sludgy colors coming off, but just get that around like that, okay. Try and go in there. A bit more here. Oops. Oops, I pressed a bit hard and I've got a bit of pink now in there. Oh well. Right, okay. Okay, let's pop that to one side. I could probably get one more out of that, to be honest. Okay. And then just a bit more here. Okay, and then this one here. Right, okay, let's now move those to one side and I'm just going to wipe the desk down one one more time and then we can, um, you know, go in and sort of blend some of those down as well. So let's just clean that down. And I haven't even used the watercolour pens yet, so I'm having such a good time with these. I haven't even used the watercolour pens yet, so um, yeah, I have to kind of do that next time probably. Okay, right, let's move this stuff now to one side. Right, let's bring in the first one, just trying to see which one now is the first one. Of course I can't now, is that the first one? Mm, might have been, not sure to be honest. Right. So again, I mean, I quite like that just even as it is. It looks really quite pretty, doesn't it? But I'm going to just go in with my wet wipe. Just going to actually use the one that I just wiped the table down with. Again, I'm just kind of dabbing, really, rather than wiping for the moment. Perhaps again, I'll just really wet it. Okay, so that's just water in the, you know, in my spray bottle. It's nothing kind of special, just water. Okay. Okie dokie. So just trying to get that bit of a sponged effect on this one. Okay, so that looks really pretty, doesn't it? I mean, obviously this one's quite saturated now with water, so some of that colouring in the background, I think, is just where the paper's wet. Looks quite grey, but I think it's just the, you know, the wet background of the paper. Okay, let's put that one there. And let's pull in this one now. Again, it's not really very wet, uh, not really very dry, which is a bit of a shame. Um, let me see if any of the others are drier. 
No, I don't think they're even wetter. Let me dry them off and come back. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back and they're obviously all dry now. So I'm just going to go in and kind of just reactivate that paint with the wet wipe. And you can see how easily that kind of comes back to life and, you know, um, becomes, well, movable again. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm loving it. And of course, this means then that you don't have to rush or anything because you can just take your time. You know, whereas some paints, you kind of go back in and they've already dried and then there's no kind of, you know, budging them around again. Whereas these, you can just then take your time and, you know, come back to it. And if you weren't happy with it, I mean, obviously, I don't know because I've only just opened them. But, you know, I wonder if I came back to it tomorrow, whether I could still do this again. Um, and indeed, whether you can do it more than once. I'm assuming that you probably could. Uh, but like I say, you know, I haven't, whoops, I haven't had these before. So I wouldn't really kind of swear by that. But oh, just loving how easy they are to just blend about. They're just gorgeous. And, you know, no tools required. I've just literally been using just a wipe. Okay, you know, and if they're not kind of quite looking how you want them, you can just move the paint around a bit more, wipe them off, probably put more paint on, I'm guessing, um, you know, to get them exactly how you want them looking. So, yeah, I'm really kind of liking them, to be honest. Really like them. Okay. And, you know, of course, this is just on pieces of paper. So I haven't tried, obviously, a canvas or anything like that, but I'm hoping that you'd have kind of brilliant results perhaps with doing a canvas and things like that as well. So let's just smoosh this one round a little bit like that. Okay. Okie dokie. And you know, I mean, you could probably use a sponge with water instead of a wipe if you wanted, you know, to get some different kind of looks going on. I mean, obviously I'm just doing very basic things here. Um, but yeah, very, very, very nice. The um, techniques or, you know, the uh, results that I'm getting just by using literally something so basic as just a wipe and just literally, you know, rubbing the paint effectively. Okay, right, let's just go in like that. So this one, I might just leave this kind of a bit darker in the middle. Okay, love how that looks. So the other thing that I thought might be quite interesting to try is I've got some um, coffee dyed water here in my spray bottle. And I just thought, to be honest, I wonder what they'd look like with just some coffee dyed splats. So let's just try that. Might have to just... That's quite nice, isn't it? To just make them look a little bit more sort of vintagey. So, I mean, actually, to be honest, you know, wondering whether we could have done this, you know, even at the beginning or even put the paints onto coffee dyed paper and what type of effect we'd have got then. Um, you know, unfortunately, I didn't really give it a th thought, but just going to put them on like that okay okay let me go and dry this off okay so I've dried this off now with my heat tool and I just thought I would show you how that looks isn't that just gorgeous I mean I don't know how well the camera's picking this up but there's very tiny flecks of like glitter in this from the um you know the sparkly-ish um you know paints and things but it's so pretty and it looks really quite vintage because we've obviously got the splashes of the coffee and things. Oh, just absolutely gorgeous. I really, really, really love that. So, and of course now what you could do is, you know, make your own papers by using your stamps or, oops, or your stencils. So I'm just going to pull in my stamps here. So I've got this gorgeous stamp here. Oops. So this gorgeous stamp here, again, I've used this one before, but it's from 49 Market. Uh, designer Series, Gabrielle 
Mm, pal Palaco? I don't know how you pronounce that, so I do apologise to anyone who does know how you pronounce it. And it's called the Faded Damask Stamp. So I'm just going to stamp this on here in a couple of random places. So again, I'm just going to stamp my stamp off because it may have other colouring on it where I've used it for other things. Okay. So I'll just go in. Now I always really like using my stays on, um, but of course you could use any, you know, any other stamp um, ink that you wanted. But stays on is just, it's my favourite. So um, yeah, I will just use my stays on. And all I'm going to do is literally go round on this paper very randomly so I don't want to kind of have the complete stamp I just want to kind of get very rough bits picked up here you know in an ad hoc way like that okay Oops. oh I mean that's such a scrumptious stamp to be honest isn't it I just absolutely love it. Okay, and then a bit more here. And then just a bit, I think, over here. Oops, might just have a bit going off the edge so as it doesn't look like it's a piece of paper, if you see what I mean. But so as it looks like it's more, more finished, I guess. Uh, okay, yep. So... How gorgeous is that? It looks really vintage, doesn't it? And really, really, really nice. Oh, I just love it. I mean, obviously it helps because the stamp is so beautiful. Um, but those paints are just awesome for creating like amazing blended backgrounds because like I say, you know, they just have blended so perfectly and so easily. Oh, I just love that. Right, okay. We probably haven't got time today to now do um, a page in our art journal because, of course, I've now taken so long doing this, but I got carried away, obviously, having so much fun blending up all my different backgrounds. But I think what I'm going to do is try and vintage up most of them because I love the look of this so much. So I'm going to just kind of go over them with um, some of the coffee dye and things like that, just like I did with this, and then maybe stamp on some. Um, and then we can come back and obviously start using and playing with some of our gorgeous papers that we have made here. So I hope that you've really enjoyed the process. As I say, obviously the links are all below for if you wanted to head over to Arteza and have a look at their gorgeous paints. Um, I have still got those lovely water brush marker pens, which we've not even touched yet. So of course we're going to be doing that in a, in a video soon. Um, but yeah, these paints for backgrounds, absolutely love them. So um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope that you all join me next time. Thanks so much then. Have a great day. Bye.